I was lucky enough to recently attend a webinar organized by Padlet where they highlighted the new AI features in their product. I have to say they're really impressive. And in this video, I'm gonna focus on three of my favorite AI features. And my focus, of course, is on language teaching. So we're gonna look at ideas that language teachers can use. So I'm gonna do three activities. The first one's gonna be a grammar activity. I'm gonna show you how you can get Padlet to produce grammar tests or grammar quizzes for your students. And that's really nice and it's very quick. The second activity is lovely because I'm gonna show you how you can get your students to write a description of an image they wanna see. And then Padlet will produce that image. It has a great tool that really does produce very high quality images from a description. So it's a writing activity. And in the third one, I'm gonna show you how we could make a really nice reading passage and I'm gonna do it around someone quite famous and something relevant to younger people and then show you how you could turn a reading activity into a speaking activity. Don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to my channel and of course comment on it because it really, really helps me and let's get started. Now what I like about Padlet is the creativity and the interest in speaking activities and writing activities that you can do with Padlet. But I will start with something quite simple that I know a lot of teachers will want. If you click on Make a Padlet, one of the options you get here is called Assessment Poll. And we can choose a level and we can put in some basic information about what we want to practice, maybe the past simple in English or the present simple or second conditional, second conditional, third conditional, etc. We can just choose here, for example, the level that we want and then we can put in some more details. So to save time, I'm just going to quickly do that. So I want to make a quick assessment at high level practicing the past simple verbs we'll put the level at about 12 we won't actually do a higher education we'll do it at level 12 and I've put in some extra information here to help recognize sentences in the past in English the examples I want to work with focus on irregular verbs in the past like eat write read sing come drink sleep in the past of course so let's see what happens when we click on the magic button to generate the content now I'm doing something wrong for some reason let me just double check Ah uh, yeah, you gotta choose the level of difficulty. So we choose intermediate and now it's all ready. Let's click on the create button and it's gonna take a while. Let's just stop the video and we're gonna jump in and see what happens. So it's like an assessment poll. There it is, it's all produced. It would be worth, of course, checking through just to make sure everything's okay. I've already looked at the first few sentences and they're fine. You've got four options and basically the students have to vote on which one they think is correct. And how are you gonna get the students to do that? Well, there's lots of ways actually. You can click on the share button. One obvious thing that you could do is to click on the share and just grab the QR code. And if the students have got their telephones, they will point their telephones at the screen and they could use their phones then to vote. Another option would be to choose the links. You can also embed it, of course, but another obvious option is to choose link and then to copy the link to the clipboard. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna log in as a student and just quickly show you what this activity would look like. Okay, so I'm just gonna paste in the link. We're logging in now as a student and the student would obviously see this and basically they would need to vote and they'd need to click on it and then vote. And then they would do the same thing here. Let's just do a couple and we'll maybe get a few wrong afterwards. Um, and then just click and vote and go through. Now, as soon as the students finish that, you do need to click and to vote on the option. So you'd need to go through them all. So I've now finished voting on all the options and of course other students would do exactly the same thing. And if we come back now to the teacher's view and we just update the screen so that we can see the updates, I'm just gonna refresh the screen. You'll see now that it will show me the votes that have been added and I can see that one vote has already been made. Now what the teacher can do at the end and project this onto the screen is click on show results and then possibly discuss the results with the students and tell them, well, you know, if you voted for that, that was incorrect. If you voted for that, that was incorrect. This was the correct answer. So you can see this could be really an effective way of particularly revising um, the, for in this case, the, the past simple. Now, this is a nice activity, but I wanna show you something a little bit more creative. 
Just a quick break from the video. If you are interested in how I make my videos, because people often ask me, I use Camtasia and I've put a link below where you can download and try it out for free. There's also a course there, a six part course that you can use for free. And there's some links where you can buy Camtasia with an additional discount if you use my links. Right, let's get back to the video. Padlet has an amazing AI drawing feature. You write in a description, it will draw the image. So what you could do is create a Padlet and then get students to prepare a description and then write their description in. And of course, it's gonna draw a really nice picture for uh, depending on, on the, obviously what they've described. So you could do this around a the theme. The theme might be houses in the countryside or it might be beautiful beach scenes or it might be a typical city scene or you could just leave it completely open for students to write and describe what they want. So all you need to do is set up the Padlet. Once you've set up the Padlet, the students would click on this button here to add their descriptions. And all they need to do in this particular case is click on this button, I can't draw. This is the important button. You click on that, then you write your description at the top, and then you click on a button here, which I'll show you in a minute, and it will draw the picture. So let's just do an example. So what I'm gonna do is just write in a nice description. I'm gonna say, a vision of house and with lots of flowers outside. And next to a river. So once you've written your description, you click on this button here, and hopefully, and it's going to take a few seconds, it's going to draw the image. Let's come back in a minute once the image is drawn. So you get four choices. Really nice what it's done. I like this one. It actually reminds me of a friend of mine's house uh, in Andalusia. So I'm going to click on that. That picture then is added in. And the one thing that you will need to do is get the students to put their name at the top. So let's imagine that Tom did this one. I've got their description, so it's great for language practice as well. And then Tom would publish. And of course, other students would ca carry on doing the same thing. Let me just quickly show you how I set that activity up. It was very, very easy. You'd literally just create a Padlet. So what I did was on Padlet, just to come back here, and this is another really nice feature. Click on Make a Padlet. But if you come down, there are a number of templates. Now, I've started to work with these templates more and more. And the one that I chose was Art Showcase. And I just clicked on that, and it produces this screen. It gives you some suggestions here. You can always just click on Done. Now, you don't have to have this background like this. You can easily just edit the background. I think if you come down to here to the settings, if you want to, for example, just have a simple background, let's say a dark background, you can do that and then click on save and then close that window down. Now, all the students need to do, of course, you need to share the link as we did before. So you're gonna share the link with the students or you're gonna share a QR code if you want them to do this in class, and then they're simply gonna click on the plus button, and remember, they need to click on this one here. And then all they need to do is to write in their description. So they click on here, write in their description, and remember, there's a little arrow here. Once you start writing, and you just paste, click on that, and that will then draw the image. Really quick break from the video, just a few seconds. If you like what you see and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a menu system along the top that you can make use of, but if you scroll down on the first page, you'll see lots and lots of videos. I specialize in the use of technology for both teachers and students in the domain of language learning. Now, if you really wanna follow what I do, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest videos. You also get updated on the webinars that we run and they're often free, just like the one that you can see on the screen now and also the blog posts and the courses that I run. But most interestingly, at the moment, if you sign up, you get a free 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on my website and on my YouTube channel that teachers and students have commented on. And there's about 14 videos in total and nearly everything that I recommend is free. Right, let's get back to the video. 
I'm going to focus now on a reading activity that we could easily turn into a speaking activity afterwards. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make a Padlet. And the one that I'm going to choose is a timeline of events. And if you look here, you can see that you've got to add in some information. You put in a title, you choose the level, you give some more information, you choose the period of time. And it will produce a text or it will produce images or videos based around whatever you want it to produce. So what I want to do is a kind of reading activity for my students and let me show you what I've prepared. So I'm going to get the AI to write the history of Dua Lipa. She's a very kind of popular current day singer. Um, so it's given it a title. I've given uh, the period that I want, which is from when, when she was born until now. And then I've written here some additional information. Can you write a simple text with images that highlight key moments in the life of Dua Lipa? Can we start from her birth right up until the present day? Can you produce a text that is suitable for B1 level students of English on the Sephra level? So I've kind of overridden this. This is kind of like the American system. And as you can see, this is more like high school. Um, I, 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 I mean, it, I don't think this really matters too much because obviously whatever I'm going to write in here is going to over, over basically, but let, let, let's uh, click on the button and see what happens. So we click here and we're hoping now that it's going to write that text for me that would then be something that students could read. But what we could do afterwards is turn this into a speaking activity. And it's done exactly what I asked for. And the level of the English seems to be pretty low as well because I only asked for it to be at level B1. Uh, we can kind of, if we just scroll down here at the bottom, you will see that there's a little thing to move along. So you could easily turn this now into a reading activity where students would be obviously expected to read the information. Now, one thing that we could do afterwards is get them to record a summary of what they've learnt. Now there is a little tip that I can give you. If you just click on this button here, okay, and then come down, just one very simple thing, and we're gonna choose group post by section, just click here. And what you can do now, if you just close that down, is we've now got a section with obviously the milestones in her life, and we've got a new section under here, we're gonna call this students summaries. Okay, and I'm gonna call this students student summary and now students can add their summary after they've read it they could take some notes and prepare and what they could do is click on the plus button here and I hope it's the plus button I've got it right yes I have click on the plus button the one that they want to do is to click here and then they want to click on audio recorder and they could record their summary um, so let me just give you a quick example so I'd click here so this is the summary of the life of Dua Lipa, who is a singer who was actually born in the UK, bloody, 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 blah. Do their recording, click, save it, give it a title. In fact, I'm just going to write Russell summary. Click on save. And then you've got to wait a few seconds to get the audio to be saved. You can notice now it's been saved. Okay, I can write some additional information here if I want to underneath, but then what I can do is publish. So we could get all our students to publish, for example, their summaries and turn a reading into a writing activity. Really glad that you stayed to the end of the video. And don't forget what I mentioned. If you sign up to the newsletter on teachertrainingvideos.com, there is a 14 part course. It's completely free. There are no tricks uh, in using technology in teaching and learning. And nearly everything that I recommend is free. If you do want to contact me about doing some training with you, perhaps with your institution, you can contact me from the website. I run workshops, I do lots of conferences. I sometimes even do one-to-one -one training on very specialized technologies like Zoom and Camtasia. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, uh, then you can join me on Patreon. For just $6 a month, you get the chance to meet me online with the rest of the Patreon group. We normally look in detail at a particular technology and then we do activities with it so that we learn it really well. And I often show the teachers things that they don't realize about these technologies. And apart from that, I also add up videos onto Patreon that I don't use or don't add on to my YouTube channel. These are often technologies that I've not covered on YouTube 
or I go into more detail. So for example, you can see here on the screen now, several videos that I've uploaded and we haven't covered these aspects on uh, YouTube. So if you're interested in that live training with me plus extra content that I put onto Patreon, the cost is $6 a month, then please join me. I'd love to see you on Patreon as well. I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.